Hi, I'm Adam Tompkins, a history professor at the Japan campus. On behalf of myself and the other faculty members here in Tokyo, I'm delighted to announce that Simon Blomdahl is the outstanding BA student of the inaugural LUJ graduating class of 2022. So my, my first direct encounter with Simon uh, was in January 2021 when, when he enrolled in a couple of my courses. And, and really the first thing that I wanted to say to him was, you know, <laughs> what took you so long, right? You know, we've been here for a year and, you know, just now you're taking a history class that should have happened months earlier, right? Um, but, uh, you know, I, I'd been hearing this good stuff about a Swedish student and, you know, maybe starting to think that it was some sort of a myth or something. Um, but, you know, all of it proved to be true, right? And and that that characterization was of, of his strength as a student was no exaggeration. Um, and he, even in January 2021, he, he happened to be feeling under the weather then. Uh, he, he still proved to be one of the most vocal and, and vital uh, contributors and insightful contributors to uh, those early class discussions. And that character stayed true um, throughout the year and in, in, into the spring when, when I had him in uh, uh, core three. Right? Um, so I was fortunate to have Simon in, in three classes, uh, World History Two, uh, Core Two, Prejudice and Discrimination, and then the Environment and, and Consumption course. And though uh, he was a business major, I really got the sense that the humanities live in his heart, right? And, and oftentimes he wore that heart on his sleeve. And uh, I really appreciated that aspect of, of Simon's character. He, he regularly elevated class discussions, uh, speaking with passion, uh, speaking with frankness and with conviction, and maybe from time to time, <laughs> right, occasionally, maybe on accident, uh, a cuss word here and there, right? But if you're talking about corporate malfeasance and culpability for environmental devastation, I'd, you know, maybe you got to let one of those slip from uh, <laughs> every here and there, right? Um, but that's that engagement, right? And that's that fire uh, that Simon brought that that was so infectious, right? Uh, it had the tendency to get the whole class talking. But Simon excelled at making connections between abstract ideas and actual events, uh, engaging in comparative analysis of historical and social developments uh, in different parts of the world with different groups of people. Right? And uh, he, in my opinion, helped to make those linkages clear to other students in the class, right? And, and really his matter of factness, uh, it, it made it easier for other students uh, to offer their own interpretations, right? It, it, it gave them uh, a sense of comfort, right? Or greater levels of, of comfort, I should say. Um, Probably my most memorable experiences of, of Simon in the classroom, uh, or maybe uh, towards the top of the list, I should say, is uh, I use these modules called uh, Reacting to the Past, right? And in these modules, uh, in my upper division classes, uh, students have to role play actual historical characters, right? Uh, and they have to represent the individual and how the individual would act, uh, how they thought, um, what their interests were, right, as they uh, engage in real life scenarios, right? And uh, so twice I entrusted Simon with the most important roles and really the, the most difficult roles to, to play, right? And twice he excelled in that capacity. Right? Um, this is probably most notable uh, when he had to role play the ambassador of France during the 1994 Rwandan genocide, uh, the United Nations Security Council hearings about what to do or, or not do. Uh, as news was emerging out of out of the country, right? um, that role, his role, uh, was it's very emotionally trying, right? And in he Simon uh, really played it perfectly. Right? Um, he ably handled the rapidly changing situations, and he applied abstract philosophical concepts. Um, when he was advocating for a particular course of action or really in the case of France um, uh, against a particular course of, of action, right? Um, and that's not an easy thing to do, uh, particularly in, um, in, in the, the situation of the ambassador of France uh, with Simon playing it because really everything that Simon had to, had to do as the ambassador of France ran against the moral fiber of, of his being, right? Um, but he adapted and he learned and he, um, 
he thought from another's point of view, right? Um, and <laughs> still, it bothered him, right? He would oftentimes stay after class and vent to me about the ambassador and, and the things that the ambassador knew and, and wasn't doing, right? Or wasn't acting upon. And this really gets back to um, that point that I was making about Simon wearing his heart on his sleeve, right? Um, as he's still able to demonstrate sound critical thinking skills and a strong intellect. So Simon, I'm really gonna miss having you in class. Uh, I, I, I very much appreciate all of the energy and, and the insights that, that you brought to my courses uh, over the past year. Uh, you really deserve this this recognition and, and I'm happy to be the one to um, speak on your behalf, right? Uh, so congratulations on graduating and congratulations for being recognized as the outstanding student at LUJ and please stay in touch. Mm -hmm.